Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Watch: Tim Allen just went on Jimmy Kimmel, sends anti-Trump Hollywood elites a message they can ignore. Tim Allen turned 65 yesterday. He has a lot to celebrate. His show Last Man Standing will return to the air this fall on Fox this time after being canceled last year by ABC for what may be political reasons. Was he just too conservative for them? One may not ever know for sure, but millions of Americans loved Tim Allen and demanded his top-rated show be brought back. It wasn't too long ago that Allen was basically ostracized from Hollywood for his support of President Trump. He even kidded about it on Jimmy Kimmel's late-night talk show. Allen made his stance crystal clear on Kimmel's show while the host hypocritically laughed and pretended he thought Allen was funny. Jimmy Kimmel promoted Obamacare and attacked President Trump at every available opportunity. Allen shared with Kimmel what it was like to go to President Trump's inauguration ceremony with all the cars and people in attendance. He then went on to say that Hollywood is very much like living in 1930s Germany. I was invited, we did a VIP thing for the vets, and went to a veterans ball, so I went to go see Democrats and Republicans, Allen said. Yeah I went to the inauguration. He said that as Kimmel was trying to trip Allen up. I'm not attacking you, laughed Jimmy Kimmel, after Allen turned defensive. Yep, he sure was. That's Kimmel's shtick. You've gotta be real careful around here, Allen rallied. You get beat up if don't believe what everybody believes. This is like 30s Germany. I don't know what happened. If you're not part of the group, you know what we believe is right, I go, well, I might have a problem with that. I'm a comedian, I like going on both sides. Alan has always been that way. He's open-minded and will joke about anything. He's just not politically correct, and that's one reason why a lot of people love him. Alan is not a big fan of Hollywood elitism. He's called them hypocritical and doesn't have much use for the celebrity crowd. He told Megyn Kelly on Fox News last year that he finds it odd that Hollywood didn't like Trump because he was a bully. But if you had any kind of inkling that you were for Trump, you got bullied, he snarked too true. There are a ton of celebrity hypocrites trying to voice their opinions, and it has only gotten more pronounced and evident as Trump's presidency goes on. The reason Last Man Standing is so popular is that it appeals to the common man and woman in America. Roseanne was the same way and it will come back without her, but her fans are likely to abandon the show without her. Last Man Standing should be a huge and ongoing hit. Tim Allen is thrilled to be coming back. Several media outlets have reported on a group called Friends of Abe. One member was quoted as saying, in 30 years of show business, I've never seen it like this. If you are evenly quorum to Republicans, you are excommunicated from the Church of Tolerance. That's very true and has been for a long time. But Last Man Standing has been an exception to the rule until they were axed unceremoniously by ABC. Finally, we have a hero who hunts, fishes, watches sports, and occasionally drives a tank, Allen wrote. He has also complained of network censorship when his character on the show tries to go after liberal icons such as Hillary Clinton. Allen admits he has gotten more than one warning to stop calling President Obama a communist, the TV page reported in 2015. Hey, if the Marxist shoe fits. During the primaries, Allen did not seem overly concerned. It's getting more and more comfortable, he said. These guys know me so well that they're writing stuff that is exactly what I would have said. It's a marvelous thing when you have liberal people writing for, a show like this. Of course, that did not end well for Allen. Figures. At first, Allen didn't even seem to be that enthused about Trump. Forget the stupid s, he says about immigrants, Allen said. That's just ignorant. But he might be able to do the stuff that really needs fixing. After the election, on Fox News, Allen compared Trump to an amateur performer with very bad comic timing. I don't want to defend the guy, he said. But somewhere along the way, it seems as though Allen got on the Trump train and has stayed there. Tim Allen has been in comedy for over 30 years. He has been fearless in his views and humor and it has made him a wealthy and loved conservative comic and actor. But he is the exception to the rule. Americans are starving for his type of humor. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.